there's the aircraft that's gonna be taking me up to Minneapolis today. Uh, bit of an awkward conversation that was, but it makes sense from some random dude looking like this coming up to you and offering you his first class upgrade. Alright, uh, boarded on the world's MTS Airbus A320. Rookie time. We got the full runway mirror right here. It's not every day you get the entire economy cabin to yourself. I got absolutely spoiled with food on that last flight. What's going on guys, Casey Fire here, and this is the second part of my trip on Nebraska's new airline runway from Dallas to Minneapolis through Lincoln. It's been pretty fun chilling here in Lincoln for the past few hours, but time to continue our trip. Let's go to Minneapolis. Wait, 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 wait. There's something you're not telling us. Go back. Flight 10004 to Minneapolis. We are currently having some weather delays. Flight cancellation. Yay. Well, when you have one aircraft in your fleet, there's only so much you can do. Aircraft is done here for the night. We're going to try again tomorrow morning. Hey, thank you so much, buddy. You're welcome. Happy to help you out. Thank you. Hey, have an amazing night. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. The last thing I'll ask is we track everybody who comes through the doors as far as reason for your visit being a traveling through business, family, vacation, personal. Okay, yeah. So I'm traveling through Lincoln on Broadway Airlines. Oh, okay. And they canceled on me. Oh, no. And I'm supposed to go to Minneapolis tonight. Um, plot twist, I did not tomorrow morning. So hopefully they'll reimburse me oh. for my stay tonight. So, I mean, travel, if you want to call it that. Well, here we are at a Holiday Inn, 20 miles away from the airport, because in Lincoln, hotels that are checking ages 18 and up are non-existent. Well, long story short, the weather in Atlanta was bad, so right away it got out late, and then the crew timed out, and then they didn't meet the minimum risk requirements to get up to Minneapolis. They were the same crew that would be taking me up to Minneapolis and taking the same plane back down to Lincoln. So they timed out because uh, of the weather, and then they canceled the flight, put it for tomorrow morning, and they put me in a hotel, even though I had to pay, but they'll be reimbursing me here at the end. So uh, that'll be nice on them. But we'll be heading back to the airport at 9.45 tomorrow to uh, head up to Minneapolis. The next morning. Good morning, here we are, back at the airport. There's the aircraft that's gonna be taking me up to Minneapolis today, November 281 Golf X-Ray, the same aircraft that brought me up here from Dallas. I had a pretty fun conversation in the Uber with my driver this morning about Redway and the expansion in uh, Lincoln. There's only so much you can do with the hub here. Um, but, I mean, I, I don't know, we'll see. I might be wrong. Um, I've been wrong before. <laughs> um, I would love to see it. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if Vegas is doing good, then Phoenix will probably do good. And then same thing with Orlando and Tampa. It's in a few destinations, and uh, yeah. Uh, fun time for the AvGeek educating people about the new airline and their growth in uh, the small Nebraska city. Okay, I just finished filming that last segment and I think I just saw the exact same Uber driver that took me to the hotel last night. So when I say small city, I mean small city. As I mentioned in the last video, Rory doesn't have an online check-in yet, so you're gonna have to get your boarding pass in person. Okay, I'll go to you. Okay, I'll go to you. What seat? Uh, it's gonna be the first one. One, one F? Yep. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay. And then there you go, that's your new boarding pass. Here is your ID back. Cheers, thank you. Take care. You're welcome. Cheers, thank you. Alright, all checked in. I had to check in a second time for the flight out this morning. Uh, so, I got a company upgrade to first class um, for all the trouble I went through last night. So, great on them for doing that. But for me, that is not a good thing because I booked the second flight so I can review Redway's economy cabin. So hopefully I can find someone to uh, trade with for my first class seat for their economy seat. Excuse me. Uh, what? Hi, sorry. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just, just small, small yeah, I'm fine. So uh, what seat are you in for the Minneapolis flight? Yes. Uh, what seat are you in for the Minneapolis flight? Yes, I'm going to Minneapolis. What seat? What, what seat? What, what? Uh, I, got, I don't know. Okay. <coughs> It doesn't say. 6A? Yeah. Okay. Um, how would you like to exchange your an economy seat for my first class seat? Uh, how come? I'm in 1F. Well, how come you want to do that? Um, so I'm a content creator and I review airlines and I came up here from Dallas reviewing their first class cabin. Okay. And I'm going up to Minneapolis reviewing their economy class cabin and I got my first class upgrade so I, I can't okay. do that with... Okay. Uh, two upgrades. Yeah, when we go up, I'll just switch. Them. Okay, awesome. Thank you. So a six A. Yeah, that's nice. Awesome. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, bit of an awkward conversation that was, but it makes sense from some random dude looking like this coming up to you and offering you his first class upgrade. Also, sorry, I look like this. Um, I only anticipated this trip taking one day, so I didn't pack any toilet cheese for the night. 
uh so yeah uh we got 6a which isn't technically economy it's premium economy but i mean it's economy enough so uh that i do for the review so yeah uh, we got what we wanted uh right away first class and economy back to back and after giving away my massive complimentary upgrade as if this were a mr beast video it was time to board service to minneapolis at this time we would like to invite those passengers or actually all passengers to board at this time We'll be continuing on to Minneapolis today in the exact same 8020 that brought us up here in the last video. November 281 Gulf actually was delivered to Virgin America in July of 2006, followed by getting moved to Alaska Airlines with the merger in January of 2018, and then finally made its way to Global X in November of 2021, where it now acts as a runway plane. I made my way to seat 6A with a 17 and a picture 31. So they kept the exact same interior from Alaska when they previously owned the aircraft, all the seats came with empty power, no matter how far back you were. Alright, boarded on the world's emptiest Airbus A320. Only 16 packs on the aircraft uh, here in seat 6A. Uh, it is premium economy. I could probably move back if I wanted to, but at this point, I just want to stay put. Um, just good lug room, but honestly, um, that's about it. The boarding door is now closed and we are ready to depart. And after the quickest round of the winning game yet, we saw wing walkers and we were pushing back on our way up to the Twin Cities. Alright, after that 14 hour delay, we've departed out of Lincoln. It sounded like the crew were going to do a four drink and snack service because there's only 16 packs on here. So we'll see what happens. They're getting everything set up now. Uh, Diet Pepsi, no ice. Diet Pepsi, no ice. Thank you so much. Cheers, thank you. Got it. Got it, thank you so much. And then came the mirror service. Since the lady I gave my first class seat who didn't want it, she went ahead and passed it back to me. Thank you. Alright, snacky time, brecky time. We got the full runway mirror right here. So exhibit A is this chocolate chip muffin right here. Haven't tried it yet. Um, I don't know if it's a um, just a premium first class and a premium economy thing. So I don't know if you would get this back in the economy cabin, but I got it. Exhibit B, we got a turkey sandwich, which I know is a first class meal. Um, so this is probably a lunch meal, so this is a first class meal that was handed back to me. Since I didn't get to try the first class meal in the last video, I um, flew first class. Exhibit C. It's an interesting little bag of chips. And Exhibit D. Pepsi. Cheers. Alright, I think we begin our descent down into MSP. Uh, that flight went by way too quick, um, only about an hour um, in between Lincoln and Minneapolis. So yeah, uh, engines are spooned back and we'll be on the ground within the next half hour. And I've just only started my uh, sandwich here, my turkey sandwich. So quick food evaluation, uh, the muffin was really yummy. So definitely a good breakfast with the muffin there. Uh, again, I don't know if it's served to um, the entire cabin or just the first and premium economy. But the sandwich, uh, it's getting the job done. I've only taken a few bites out of it, but it's pretty cold, but I mean, that's kind of expected. But other than that, it gets the job done. So, uh, yeah, I haven't tried the chips yet, um, but yeah, I'll be on the ground with me in the next half hour. And uh, here we go. 
Okay, I just realized how much of a genius I am. So, we're not descending, we actually just leveled off. There's only 15 other passengers on here, and we probably don't need that much power to cruise. <laughs> Alright, went ahead and said screw it and got up and moved back to 22A for the arrival. And it's a standard economy seat. It's literally the exact same seat as you get on Alaska Airlines. Um, you got, you know, a USB and a standard economy seat legroom. You got the device holder too. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all the amenities you get. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful. I'm getting really, really strong Alaska Airlines vibes from this because it's an Alaska Airlines cabin, and I absolutely love it. It's really nice. It's not every day you get the entire economy cabin to yourself. We made our final descent in the Twin Cities on this wonderful morning. This was also Redway's final flight to Minneapolis for the foreseeable future, so it's gonna be sad to see that go. The good news is they're adding Phoenix and Tampa as winter destinations. Anyway, this was overall a pretty relaxing and positive hour-long flight. I'm going to use this quick time at the end to look back on it using my channel original rating system. My Raleigh rating scale uses 6 categories to review the flight and hopefully set your expectations correctly. The service gets a 10 out of 10. It all started with a huge complimentary first class upgrade after my inconvenience. The crew took amazing care of me even though I was seated in economy. I was able to get a moderate feel for what they would be like. I say moderate because of the fact that there are only 16 passengers and one flight attendant for every 3 passengers. So we had more than enough food for that. The cleanliness gets a 10 out of 10. I said this in my last video, but they did have a great job of keeping the original Alaska Slash Virgin cabin looking amazing. The Wi-Fi gets a 0 out of 10. There was none available or an external entertainment center that it directs you to. The food gets a 10 out of 10. I was so glad I was able to have a redemption mode since I didn't get to try the food in the last fight. The muffin tasted amazing, and I didn't have the chance to finish the sandwich. The sandwich was cold, and the same thing you get at a to-go section at a store. But, I had the option between a turkey wrap and a turkey sandwich, so it was nice having options. I wasn't able to finish the chips as well, but those were nice to have too. The entertainment gets a 2 out of 10. There was no in-flight Wi-Fi or entertainment that or direct you to with TV and movies, so you all left with just views of the window and hopefully content that you downloaded pre-flight. They are starting new airlines, so I wouldn't be surprised if that changed down the road. The seat gets a 10 out of 10. There isn't much too much to say about the seat. There are standard premium economy and economy seats. It was nice to get the device holder and NT power. As expected, the premium economy seat at the bulkhead had lots of legroom, but that was really the true only difference. Was it worth the $49 I paid for on the quick hop? 100% yes. So the overall raw rating for the flight is going to be a 7 out of 10. Now don't mistake a low rating on here for an airline not being great. I use the same skill to review things as high as business class products and semi-private products so as low as getting packed on an old Cessna. I compare everything to everything just so you know what to expect. Alright, sat down here in the terminal. My next flight back to St. Louis boards in about a half hour. So, overall, um, the experience on Redway is pretty good. The delay was pretty honest. I mean, whether in Atlanta, everyone got delayed and then the crew just timed out. So, the going by the FAA rules, everything was pretty honest. But yeah, I got absolutely spoiled with food on that last flight. Glad I got to redeem that up. And then, also, I just looked at my footage of the landing and uh realized how much it sucked <laughs> and uh yeah so sorry about the uh, landing footage um i i didn't see how it turned out up until we landed and parked and i opened my window straight up but anyway yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed my review on Rudaway's first class and economy cabin uh these two videos all right i'm back at home now my home home not my slew dorm room home <laughs> um i emailed Rudaway asking them for a refund on my hotel um about three, four business days ago, and I haven't gotten anything back from them yet. So that's the other thing about Redway I wanted to highlight is that their customer service, a response time with emails, because they do have a uh, cell phone number that you can call for customer service. But every time I tried to call them, they've always sent me straight to a voicemail because they've always been busy uh, with people on the line. So they've just ended that and uh, got me off. So yeah, I've always gone enough to emailing them and um, I've had experience with this because this is actually the second attempt I've taken at this trip because the first one I was on Northern Pacific and I took this Redway trip after my Northern Pacific trip. So I had that kind of back to back. So uh, since Northern Pacific uh, never actually ended up happening, I couldn't make it to Dallas in time to fly Redway. So I had to email them and then cancel that trip and I actually ended up having to email them twice. and. Another like, you know, three, four business days later, I 
I got the email back from them that they gave me a refund on those flights and I used that cash to book this trip. So yeah, I definitely need to get better at their like response time with emailing. Um, so better customer service with that aspect. But other than that, if they can just get like faster and better at that, then I think they'd be great. Uh, cause I do kind of need a refund on that hotel because I took this trip like right after Oshkosh too. And, um, it was an expensive trip. So yeah, um, but other than that, um, I think they're great. They're doing great. I see good things through them. Um, I'm, I'm sure Lincoln, Nebraska is going to be a great place um, to the people I talked to. Uh, they looked really excited to have a brand new airline with them going to the airport because right now they only have like three locations, destinations on United, which are like Denver, O'Hare, and Houston. So, yeah, um, but I mean, Redway is just kind of the new kid on the block there with their one Global X Airbus AP20. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on my next adventure. Bye for now.